Welcome back to another video, boys. Stop it. Get some help. Anyways, I just made a beat. It's so fire. It's lo-fi. So I actually made a lo-fi beat this time. And it actually sounds good. It's not like super lo-fi, like retro and stuff, but it's like percussive. And I want to take you guys through how I made it. Hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And let's get into today's video. First instrument of the day is a sample. Wow. When I was making this beat, when I first started out, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I ended up going on Looper Man and finding this sample. I just typed in lo-fi because it was raining today and I really felt like some emotional shit. It didn't really turn out that emotional though. It was pretty, it's mostly just vibey. But after I got the sample, I did, I took one part of the sample and pitched it up and put it about like 25% to the left and then I copied that one and pitched it down and put that, panned it to the right. So that's what this, this is what the sample sounds like. And so I found that sample and the next thing I did was I was having really bad beat block like I said earlier So when I have really bad beat block, I just do random shit till something clicks basically Wow, the land of make-believe Ended up opening up Toxic Biohazard, the demo version And I was going through some random sounds and I found this one that sounded like a water drop or something like that And I just put it into the key of the mel or of the sample and it just like matched perfectly and it sounds super weird and lo-fi-ish and it's just perfect. So here's what that sounds like. Ah, just put that cherry on top was the sub bass. I just followed the root note key of the sample and made it a little unique in some parts. Basically with that, that's everything I did. Now I basically just arranged it and put in some rain effects to make it sound even more lo-fi. Also, with the toxic biohazard, um, weird raindrop sound, I panned it to the left and right through it so that it gave it more spatial room, I guess. And besides that, that's about everything. Pretty short video today, guys, but I wanted to show you this beat. So I like to show you every beat that I make because I think they're all fire. Uh, hopefully. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, please. It really helps me out. Also, hit that like button to show more people my videos. Make sure you share this to your grandma and your mother because they love you. And also, guys, always remember that one day you're going to die and you should do the things you love in life and not care what anybody else has to say. I just want to put that out there. But yeah, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.